Look. Oh. The really good song I haven't heard that one before, guys. My name is uh, Michael Thurman, I'm going to stand up and do it right now. Um, uh, I, I'd like to apologize for the beginning because my voice is a little bit shot, I don't know if you noticed. Um, I, I spent a large portion of, uh, of Monday nights screaming at the top of my lungs at the day as well, shielding myself with a Venga Boys shield as a shirtless man in a tin hat was throwing uh, balloons filled with pickle juice at me. I heard an interesting expression the other day, uh, that I think about three days ago. My friend went out for the night, and, uh, and, and when he came back, he said to me something I never heard before. <clears throat> he said to me, uh, Oh man, I'm tripping balls right now, man. <laughs> Have you heard this one before? <laughs> I mean, what is tripping balls? Do you, do you trip and see balls, or are you tripping over balls? I mean, do you trip your balls off, or can balls even be tripped off? There's a whole series of comparing things to balls. Have you noticed this? You can be drunk as balls, or high as balls, low as balls, or hot, cold, loud, quiet, smart, dumb, dark, sweet, sick as balls. I've never known balls to be any of these things. What's with all the balls? How did one's testicles become measured of anything? Why don't they measure more things? Six balls hit at the table. Twenty eight balls later. And did you see that? They were moving at the speed of balls. The expression I, I really just don't understand. I use it all the time in commercials too. Is I know commercials are hysterical. The one thing with commercials is, is no fuss, no muss. What's muss? And I look it up, and I realize it, it says, I quote, a space of disorder, which to me is a little bit extreme for, you know, something like a Swiffer wet jet. Strictly speaking, strictly speaking, Kosovo is a must. Number four is a must. And I feel like if the idea is useless, you know, or, or explicit language, it could be to their advantage, you know? No fuss, no genocide. <laughs> Is, is this thing about wax statues, you know, 
you can get a wax statue made of yourself for $300,000, by the way. $300,000. You actually got a wax statue. Imagine getting that as a gift, first of all. And, hey, son, remember that house you always wanted? Remember those 10 cars we could afford? Surprise! <laughs> but then, but this is my first impression. But later, I realized there's there's deeper meaning to this. You know, think about the philosophical implications of such a statue. And by philosophical implications, I mean the implications we have on philosophers. <laughs> <laughs>